Okay, this is going to be a little weird. I've got a lot of resources, and we are going to want to uh, grab some structures for a moment. Uh, so, I want to get as many upgrades as we can. we got to get the secret bosses, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. I want to fill the map. Uh, so, first and foremost, i got a lot of resources so I can fill out these. Uh, yes, I've been grinding off camera. So, I'm just going to upgrade these, and we'll see what dialogue we get. So, increases the tower's crossbow strength, and AoE increased. Oh, that'll be helpful. This tower will allow us to see monsters from a greater distance. Don't worry, those beasts won't scare my men. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. And we've already got the... Mansion, don't we? Or is this... Is this the biggest size of house that I have so far? Why can't I upgrade the shack? Oh, I need way more food. Okay. You think you'll be able to build yourself a mansion like this when it's over, to live a normal life? That's too far in the future. I still don't know how to piece the world together, and I'm not sure I'll ever be able to find out. You built such a settlement for all these people. That fact alone is a miracle. Every person in this camp believes that you'll be able to save the world. Even you? Even me. Ah. <sighs> I'm being sincere. No kidding this time. Okay, so that's just a mud hut. Looks like I'm gonna need even more resources. Uh, what do I need? I need an insane amount of wood and food. Alright. Okay. Got more resources. Let's... Let's see. Mud Hut Diner. Here we go. Okay, so if we upgrade the diner, 16% camp's healing power. Let's go. Well, I never thought my humble tent would grow this much. Drawing so much attention to myself is a bit awkward. For this, I'll tell you my trademark recipe. It's difficult and treacherous, and many cooks have laid down their knives trying to master it. Boil some water. Throw in some meat dumplings. When they float up, it's time to serve them. Go now, and use this knowledge for the greater good. <laughs> dumps. We got dumps. We also got cemetery. Revive the hero once. I was looking at the people. At first, they were lying down, and then they started getting up, walking, bringing coffee. Convenient. I can look after you, too. Don't... You don't need to lie down. You must go. Okay. And 20% HP after revival. You stand up and walk, but you're limping. Not good. The locals told me how, how much uh, how one can stop limping so much. It'll be better now. Trust me. I've totally forgotten what his original voice was, and that's okay. This is a grave. Unusual. A wizard was lying here, but he left by himself. No help for me. He left a book behind. Could be useful. Okay, so what's... I need stone. Ah, it's so expensive. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that I... Because that's Mud Hut. Is there anything else that I haven't built yet? The answer is... No. I guess the other thing I should probably build are the Watchtowers. <sighs> Watchtowers and Mud Huts it is. Alright. Okay, last thing, I hope. <laughs> this is taking a while. I This is like a full 100% revive. Never had any ambitions, that's why I never thought I'd be able to attain such a skill. It seems the sincere care for others actually can change a person. Thank you, hero. Sorry for the long speech. Alright, and I think that's it. I think we've upgraded everything. The next order of business would be building the last couple towers, but I don't think there's going to be unique dialogue for that. Well done. More towers means more soldiers. More soldiers means more arrows. More arrows means more arrows. Well, okay, so there's a little bit more that I can do. Very well, very well. Looks sturdy. The tower looks even better than before. I'll make a new training plan for the watchman, so we won't spoil the view. Huh. Sometimes I keep watch on the outpost myself, for it strengthens the spirit and keeps me from forgetting how to handle a crossbow. During your expeditions, you can see how the veil is coming apart and how the world is slowly returning. I hope that one day I'll be able to join your assault. That would be cool. Okay, and this just increases their strength. Hang the new targets. Draw that bowstring faster. Do you have a shoulder? Put some back into it. We're in the middle of training, as you can see. Your investment won't go to waste. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I need to upgrade this? Oh, I just need five of these. Okay, I should have the alchemy stuff for that. Yeah, I got tons. Alchemy has been saving my biscuits here. 
Okay, even more AoE. This is actually really obscenely strong. What a great structure. The view is unprecedented. Unprecedented. The climb is as easy as ever, and the arrow slits seem to guide the shots perfectly. Sound like I'm trying to sell it myself? It's been so long since I found myself on an actual military installation. Thank you. Alright, and if I upgrade this one, she has nothing to say. What if I build the other two? I could just build them elsewhere. But no, we're just going we're just gonna have a tower town here. <laughs> Okay, so she has nothing to say. I was mostly interested in recording all of the unique dialogue that I could potentially have here, but I think we're good. If I run into something else while I'm building up the town, I will absolutely record, but at least for now, I'm going to fill out this map. It's going to take a while. All right, so I have been busy. I maxed the, I maxed the town out. We turned the basic small, small town into Los Angeles. And here's a bit of a problem. I actually do not have enough stuff to go into all these slots, I'm pretty sure. I, I've got a fair bit in here, but I'm pretty sure a lot of this still isn't good enough. Okay, I did get the scythe. This is the one I wanted. No, it's not. Do I not have the... Is there a tool that I'm still missing? Can't be. Hold up. Encyclopedia. No, I did get it. Okay, right. I should probably turn off the double music now that we're actually playing. I bought the soundtrack for this. So we got the we got the farmer scythe. We got the smoked ham. Blacksmith's hammer. What else have I not gotten? Herbless sickle. I thought there was one of these that gave me uh damage to all. Maybe there is. Okay. Uh let's see. So let's go back to supply. So lowers resource penalty for dying. It's okay. We want to go for stool. HP regen if you already have it. Let's see. 1% ba base HP for every food item in your camp. I'm really curious about that. I'm just going to slap on everything. Generally. Ooh, raises the chance of finding a rare, rare item. Oh, that's just a regular tool? Hell yeah. I'm just gonna slap whatever. We don't need the pebbles. Let's see. Chance to redirect the lightning. This would be really interesting. Uh, let's see. What's 100 divided by 6? It's like... Like 18-ish? Is it 16.6? I, I don't actually know. Uh, let's see. But... Do we have the mirrors to meme with the temples? Yeah, 16.6 .6 repeating. So unfortunately, I've only got six of them currently. Seven. So I'd have to get a little more. I do know how to get more, um, but I want to wait on that one. Let's see, rare book. Effects don't stack. I got to check that. No. Defense, it does stack. I have no idea what it means by this does not stack because that 100% stacks. The game is absolutely joshing me. Reduce damage from all vampires, just take no damage from them. Extra HP after killing an enemy. Let's just cheese it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we want to grab as much as many foodstuffs as we possibly can. Just be kind of beefy right off the bat. Because I got 236 slots, I can do whatever I want. Uh, let's see. Extra damage against rat wolves, maybe something... It Consider. Oh! Farmer's Scythe. 5% chance to receive a ration while passing through a wheat field. 3% of all damage becomes damaged all. Okay. We're, we're just slapping everything in. I guess I actually might have enough to fill this out. Uh, let's see. HP for passing through the campfire. Maybe. We definitely don't want that one, though. Uh, let's see. Damage against undead. Damage to bosses. This is what I want. Imagine 33 farmer sites. Yup. Uh, let's see. Here's damage is increased by 5% with the with, uh, when he's within range of a road lantern or a beacon. Effects don't stack. The thing is, like, I'm pretty sure they do stack. But I don't use those. Extra damage against vampires. Heals 5 HP at the start of every day. Let's grab a couple of those. 
two max HP for every point of defense the hero has. That's interesting. I'm surprised we don't have more of those. Uh, let's see. Potion's healing power. Attackers receive one damage after every hit. Uh, let's see. Plus five HP every time they equip a new item. I wanted to try the Count's Chair. I mean, realistically, I have enough slots for all of these. All in, baby! We're just slapping everything down and we'll figure out the rest. How many potions can I carry with me? The answer is potions. I guess these are... Garlic is food stuff. So we want to stack as many of the, these as possible. Oh, maybe they mean you can't overlap lanterns. Maybe that's it. Okay, let's hit the sword again and see what we have. So I don't care too much about dying. I've got more things than I will ever, ever need. Uh, let's see. Honestly, most of these are pretty boring. So the question is, what do we do? What are the most valuable things here? Honestly, tools. Do we just go make a shit ton of tools and food? I'll do what I can. Tools. We'll get more. I can... Ooh. Oh, no, I'm totally out. Okay, sort it up. More tools it is. Except for these are the tools that I don't care for. Uh, let's see. Cheese, bread. Might as well. Got another scythe. What else we get? Mixed nuts. Absolutely. Give me dim nuts. Okay, so I could do the brass can candlestick. Actually, yes. We want to do the brass candlesticks. Mainly because I've still got I've still got plenty of slots, and baseline when I'm fighting the secret bo bosses, I will just make sure they're within range so I can just absolutely ridiculous uh, ridicul ridiculous smash through them. And let's s slap down everything else. So I guess I do have enough to fill. I was really, I was honestly a little concerned that I, I wasn't going to have enough uh, items to slot into my ridiculous town setup. And I guess I was wrong. Yeah, we don't need the pebbles. I used a lot of these just to get the resources I needed. Do we reduce the damage from vampires? Do we heal 15 when I pass the campfire tile? Uh, loop for passing the campfire. See, I just don't know how much I need that. Let's just, uh... Let's just laugh in the face of vampires. And then frying pans. And then desks. Okay. So now I've become absurd. There's nothing there's nothing that can probably stop me. Uh let's let's warm up a little bit by killing God, and then I think we'll go after everything else. Okay, who do we roll with? <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Uh, let's see. Who have I not... Who did I even kill God with? I have no idea. Let's go Rogue. I feel like Rogue is going to have the most uh, obscene business right now. <laughs> My vampirism is 12%. I wonder if the whole does not stack thing. Oh, right. Give me a second. I forgot. This game is painfully slow. This is the other reason why I was able to do what I've done. I just need to make it go fast. <laughs> I didn't even notice how much HP I have. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Temporal Beacon. Uh, let's see. Thicket. I guess... Oh, we know. I guess we had a grove. I'm just gonna plop the blood grove right there. And a vampire mansion. Generally right there. Suburbs. I'll start working on that. Boy! I didn't even realize how much HP I had. This is just upsetting. Alright. Uh, 
Let's see. I don't care too much, but I wanna I wanna keep the start generally fairly covered. <laughs> Hello, crossbowman. Nice of you to join me. The damage to all is fantastic. We're upsettingly strong. Hey, uh, do we go Marauder or do we go Old Scars? I'm gonna go Marauder. Old Scars would be funny, but I just, I don't think, I, I don't think it's necessary. Let's see, evasion or crit damage? Yeah, let's go for the crit damage. Oh, uh, this might go honestly go a lot faster than I meant for it to go. Uh, I, I really, I really was kind of under the impression that this might take some time today, but I guess my ridiculous overgrinding might have done a thing. It's fine. We already beat the game. I haven't beat the secret bosses yet, but I, I gave it the old college try, mostly. What if we can actually end up fighting this? Ah, I bet we could actually end up fighting the secret boss. If I wanted to. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that there. That's not the most helpful, but that's fine. I'm just going to slap on whatever. I'm not even looking at statistics. I don't think I need to. <laughs> oh, man. Um, shit happens. I'm not getting nearly as many thickets as I wanted. But then again, I don't know if I need them. Okay, let's start getting some towns down. Get another grove. Do I care? I'll just put it there. We've already got one horrible blood section. Okay, gift of blood, picky. 100% picky. Okay, do we get another temporal beacon? Sure. Let's just layer it there. I, there's no way we're fighting the secret boss. Oh, I guess we are fighting the Lich as we currently are. I'm not terribly worried about this. How is it possible? Shut up! Oh! <laughs> Nonsense is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, uh, whoops. I I did a thing, I guess. Let's see. What else do we do? I mean, do I think I could I don't actually remember if I, I can fight the uh, secret bosses with my current setup. I might be able to. Yeah, let's put this on. The Lich did say what we were all thinking, though. It, it's true. Okay. Suburbs. And normally, like, the Lich is the spooky one, but I guess I did prep for him pretty well. Uh, eh, let's go treasure. I don't think I'm going to lose 20% of my max HP ever. I don't think that's possible. I, I think... I was really worried uh, going into this, and I, I intentionally was not messing with my loadout too much. Uh, I clearly should have been. But I was I was intentionally not messing with my loadout too much because I I wanted to uh, 
Let's see. Do we do we actually want to set this up? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try and set this up here. I'm not going to want to fight the the boss yet. Or the secret bosses, but we're going to see if we can kill God and then the secret bosses all in the same round. We're not going to be able to fight the uh, one of the two, but we'll at least be able to fight more. Uh, let's see. What is the secret boss if Wander's already seen it? Uh, so there's two secret bosses in this game. Uh, there's one that I've already seen, which is just straight up the developers. And then there's another one that is um, that I haven't seen yet, but I know it exists and I know how to get it. Okay, so we want a bookery right there. Right. Let's just slap on new equipment. Out with the old, in with the new. I'm not even really looking at what any of this stuff does, because I'm sure it'll make me obscene, regardless of what I'm wearing. Alright, there it is. There it already is. Not ready to fight the uh, secret bosses, though. I mean, I might actually be able to roll them. But why roll them now when I can be more obscene after I kill God? <laughs> there we go. More suburbs. Oh, there's the hero fant. There's that. Onwards. Just keep rivering that. Alright, what else we got? Probably do Gift of Blood. It's bonus damage. It's good bonus damage, too. Oh. Well. Shoot, some of that was actually stuff that I wanted. It's okay. Let's see. We don't care any about any more of those. We... I am... Obscene. Oh, we have another... We have another river tile. Didn't even notice. Uh, but... There, thicket. There, nothing. Now here's the question. Can we de delete the higher, higher fed? Not with the amount of cards that I'm currently sitting on. We might be able to pull it off. But honestly, I a hard time caring. Let's see. Oh, we could use an Oblivion at some point. Though I'm not... I'm honestly not sure how much I even need to care. Wait, hold up. Oh, no, it's because there's a boss present. The secret bosses will not show up while there's a boss sitting around. I remember now. Okay. Let's do nothing is sacred. Not that that really helps me too much. I think Wander is the secret boss. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not denying that one. I may have done too much. I was hoping to kind of keep this as a bit of a challenge. But, no. Now now we've just... Uh, now we've just surpassed our limits and left nothing standing. I guess I should... Hello. Could you please stop? No! Oh! <laughs> and failure again. Bye. Just absolute... Beast mode. Alright. There's the secret boss. They exist. Hello. Guess I should figure out which is better. Crit damage chance. Counter. Eh, yeah. What about this one? Counter. Crit damage. Defense. Eh. That's better. Onwards.
let's see. Put that there. Do we have any other vampire manners? There we go. I'm just gonna make this bad for whoever lives there. I'm just gonna have the river loop back up and then we'll just cover it in other tiles. Hello. Okay. Oblivion. Now, we have another bandit camp? Uh, yeah. We do. Everything is so far so good. Keep expanding that. Become absurd. As you do. Okay, now I'm starting to get too many items. Oh well. Let's see. So we want to get a blood grove there. Vampire mansion. Not really a whole lot of other spots to even put a vampire mansion at this point. I guess I'll put it there just so that entire area just becomes awful. Let's see. Outpost. Hmm. Wait. No way in heck they're going to help me, but I'm going to I'm going to roll it anyway, especially cuz we're the rogue. There's is the next boss. Oh, we do have swamp tiles. I missed that part. All right, whatever. Grove or suburbs. There we go. I just want to beat the secret boss. Not quite yet. We're we're gonna do most of them all in one run. Well, no, we're we're gonna fight. Uh, we're gonna fight God again, and then um. I honestly don't know where to put this. I guess I'll just put it there. And I can't do anything with the river. And that's okay. I don't need to. Rivers are for lo rivers are for losers. Old scars. Load that up. Village. I'm gonna make it so bad. Let's see, got anything else? Can't do anything with rivers. We'll just kind of dump groves. There you go. Hello, yes. I'm here for Problem Town. Where do we... Do we have another vampire manor that I can... Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Just nothing but undead. I feel honestly kind of bad for anybody that lives in this... On this map. They're trying so hard. Bloodgrove is spazzing out. Yeah, it's because I've got this on, uh... So I'm, I'm running Cheat Engine right now to double the game speed. Uh, just so we don't spend forever doing runs. And, uh... It gets kind of aggressive looking. There we go, there's another one. We... Man, gone are the days where anything challenged me in this. Now I am just absurd. <laughs> we Bye. Okay, let's put that there. More thickets. More speed. Another vampire manor. I just... Is there even a point anymore? Anyway. Sup, jerk? Hunt begins. Get him! Woof. Bye! How much HP do I have? More HP than him. I've got... <laughs> four times as much HP as the boss. It's just a waste of time. The new hunt is coming. I've already got your scent. Uh, man, I don't even know. I just... We're on a journey today. Okay. 
Yeah, seeing as I don't really need the attack speed at this point, it's already 200%. We're just gonna go hella suburbs. Hey, thank you, Haldor, for the raid, and welcome on in. We are doing obscene things. Oh, what was that achievement? Oh! Wait. Trophy collection, kill each enemy. Was that what I just got? Huh. Okay, what am I missing? Die outside battle, die and resurrect three times in one expedition. That might be really hard. I don't think I'm gonna hunter the, uh, the achievements in this game. Like, I'd like to, but... <sighs> Let's see, going for the hundo. I don't know if I want to go for the hundo. I... The hundo is, like, it's tempting, but it's one of those that it just sounds like it's going to be a lot of extra time, and I might have surpassed the wind of opportunity for some of the things. Dying outside of battle is really easy with tons of swamps. Oh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Get out of here, bandit town. Hello, vampire manor. Let's see. Chance to simultaneously attack two targets. Absolutely. More thickets. Yeah, I haven't done the tons of swamps thing, but that does make sense. I'll have to see how how it works logistically. I mean, we got time today. We're going way faster than I meant to. I'm also not equipping anything, uh, which I'm sure is a bit of a problem. I don't think it's actually a problem, not for me. Not today. Let's see, attack. What we really want is crit chance more than anything else. But this, neither of these have it. Where even am I? I don't know. I lost myself somewhere along the way here. Let's see. I'm just... Let's just put things down. Let's just fill the map. Let's get ridiculous. There we go. And things like Meadows and Oblivion Heels are reversed outside of battle on swamps. Learn that the hard way. Okay. I, I can see how that would work. Let's just dump spiders. And suburbs. We. I guess I was going to save that for a blood grove, but you know what? Whatever. God may be a jerk, but boy does he have good taste in music. It is... I have been listening to this soundtrack. I loaded this game up just to listen to it earlier uh, while I was working on my video essay. It's part of the reason why I got so obscene. I was like, you know what? I've beaten this game. I can grind now. It's... it's admissible. I honestly it might be one of the best soundtracks I have ever heard in a game. Let's see. I don't really care. Like, I've hit the apathy threshold a little bit. Which I think is fine. Oh, that was a vampire manor that was not currently being served. You are the one who no longer exists. You died trying to hasten our meeting. Why are you here? I left my world and came to this one. Know that I've already defeated you once. Wait. Interesting. So, we are dimension hopping. 
we killed him in our world, and now we've hopped to one where he actually managed to kill the hero. So I left my world and came to this one. Know that I've already defeated you once. Another world. That's interesting. Possib probabilities. I get it. Opportunities. You shouldn't have done it. You've already settled the outcome of this battle in your probability. I can't allow myself to not help the world where no hope is left. You're intruding in the events of other probabilities. This creates chaos. How many of you are... How many of you are now intruding on other probabilities? And how many of those... Those probabilities have I already defeated them along with their world. Your quest has started a battle that's going to last for all of eternity. Yes, I understand that now. But you know what? That will only happen if I lose. Nothing has changed. I will stop you everywhere I can. Fine, I understand your pursuit. We shall fight here and now. Bye! That's an amazing desire to live. I'm amazed. And still. I can't believe I've managed to do it twice. What does this even make me? Will you be reborn as a creator god now? The cosmos is already waiting for my death. I shall embark on my final trip. Know that this world will never be the same. Your intrusion interrupted the natural flow of events. Interrupted its consistency. Emptiness was this world's fate. And now it has no fate at all. That's not true. Look at us. It was a natural and appropriate outcome. We entered a probability that was different from ours. But it wasn't accidental. It was do done because of our own way of thinking. Or our way of thinking, our principles and capabilities. To put it simply, it was almost inevitable. It fits into the paradigm of this world. Yoda's right. What choice did we have? We've helped where we could help. And we would do it again if an opportunity arises. Oh, you are right, but I am not wrong either. Everything has its consequence, and your actions are no exception. Don't forget that, and farewell. God, I love the halos in this game. They're so pretty. This game in general is amazing. Okay, chance to reflect a range shot to a random enemy. Oh, that's actually not bad. Let's go with that. Okay, and we're staying. Because we ain't done yet. Okay. Let's load up. Evasion, damage to all, defense. Here, I'm actually going to slow it down at this point. Oh, I guess we're on times three speed, which is like times six speed. Yeah, we were very fast. Hey, thank you, Mini Mergle, for the 500 bits. God sounds like a sore loser. I mean... Yeah, he set up this whole scenario so you could have, like, one final grudge match against the descent of the guy that killed him. And then he lost, and he's just kind of pissy. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay, do we go for the hobnail boots? We get more attack speed. Way more attack speed. Gain some damage to all, sure. Alright. Do I have an oblivion? I do not. Please give me an Oblivion. Oh my god, this is just comically slow. Can I get a speed boost or a something? Is this really the speed that I used to play this game at? I guess... I guess it's not that, that slow. It just feels slow compared to everything else that I've gone through recently. But yeah, after after light speed, this absolutely does just feel glacial. Oh well. We might not get an oblivion this round, but we'll we'll get an oblivion when we get the chance. Actually, it doesn't look like I can place anything down anymore. Yep. All that's left are the uh the bonus spaces on the map. Well, We'll just hundo this map again. I'll just put some beacons down so I move faster. Because we don't care too much about the passage of time. Uh, 
Okay. Anything else? No. Suburbs there. Go fuss. Fuss is actually really helpful for what I'm going to be doing. Can I get an oblivion, please? Okay. We probably should not increase my attack speed at all. Main reason being, I unless they fixed it, and they've probably fixed it at this point. That's a big suburb. I yeah, my maps look kind of messed up. Okay, give me an oblivion. I need to get rid of things. Ah. <sighs> Game doesn't feel like cooperating. Oh, let's get another temporal beacon down. We gotta go fast. Wait, do we actually have two? We do have two spots where it could show up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What goody bits have I gotten? Eh, it's some goody bits. One who's trying to recreate LA, apparently. Have you not seen my town map yet? I already recreated LA. I'm trying to make San Francisco now. Yeah, can I oblivion both? I assume after oblivioning one, it's uh let's see, after oblivioning oblivioning one, it will oblivion the other. My defense at 33. Gosh, I'm spooky. Well, at least I'm obscenely strong. So I can kind of just go. I keep seeing the skull pop up for, like, Battlefield and whatnot. I'm like, oh, there it is. And it, there it's not. Yeah, this map is done. Uh, let's see. Do I care too much? I don't really... kind of like, grab whatever because it's probably fine. I Unfortunately, I'm gonna call it like, well, I guess it's endgame apathy, uh, where a lot of the items in the game just have kind of the exact same stats. I'm just gonna, let's go into the options. Let's not pause after battle. I, I can pause on my own, especially as the rogue. But, uh, this happens whenever I play a game and I've, like, kind of reached the end of it after a certain point. Like, I've kind of solved it, and then it's just like, I don't really need to think about what I'm doing. I just kind of go. Seriously? Can I get an oblivion, please? I wish to delete some bosses. Ah. Uh Oh, yeah. Er. Come on. Am I sure Oblivion's in my deck? Yup. There we go. New quest, new quest, new quest, new quest. <laughs> Music in this game is such a bop. It's so good. Whenever I play this, I try and do it while I'm standing up so I can actually uh, boogie. Oh, we just wait. Uh, let's see, aren't the wolves immune to all an enemies' damage? Yeah, but like, whatever. That's not, that's not a problem for me. 
Okay. So I want to replace the topmost guitar. What about these? 10% crit damage chance. It's probably what I want to go for. Who's my crit chance anyway? 26%. That's not great. Could be better. Okay. That gives us a solid 40%. I'm liking those odds. Oh god, I've got 7,000 HP! Ugh. Man, I really wish I had actually equipped some of this stuff uh, before grinding. I was kind of holding off on it because I didn't want to show progression too much and like just come back oh, an obscene monster. And I was like, yeah, I'll just get a bunch of resources for the houses. That's not... Hard. You know, I'm already strong enough. I can't beat the secret bosses, but that's fine. I'll be okay. And hello again. I don't even remember. It's fine. Let's just fight him. Anyway. Bye! Okay, so here's the here's the trick to beating the secret bosses. All you need to do is just become absurd. I mean, so far they are the greatest threat to me that I've run into. This guy specifically. Health is equal to the number of monsters slain on the save times, too. However, minus 2% health for every empty slot in the camp supply. I wonder if that counts for the ones that are locked off. Probably not. The main thing was the other guy that got super strong. Wait, why is this familiar? Because it's the song from, uh, Don't Press the Button, I believe? It's the same composer, possibly same developers? I'm not entirely sure. But a lot of people have specifically been like, wait a second, I recognize that song. Huh, was this foreseen at all? We did leave some back doors, everything is fair. We wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't for... That's not the question. What are we going to do now? Speaking of questions, as I recall, I do have a few. And now I've earned the answers. So that is how it is. It seems we have no other choice. You're right. One should learn to concede. We don't have to learn it now. But... <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I won. Was that it? I was kind of assuming we'd have a... Well, there's the secret ending. 